Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about Blue Prism Delivery Methodology. It means development, deployment, how we have to implement our performance code based on objects, application modeler, actions, data item. Okay. We can see within the objects application modular what are the things we have to cover on it. See when you take out objects application modular you have to logically laid out. It means you are going to the login screen. So create section for each part of the screen it means login you have one passing input username and password and login button so after the login is completed then you are moving into the your main application so separate each and everything in the modeler then only you have not missed out any spied elements that is the main thing logically laid out the second thing is you have to make sure no environment specific data see the thing what is environment specific data thing you have a parent url see you using application modeler you are uh, scrapping or extracting some data so that time uh, in element attributes you have match index match reverse lot of things will come so that time uh, parent url path these type of things are environment specific so the data will cause the process to fail when migrated whenever you are using environment specific data If I could make the value dynamic, say if you are moving from UAT environment to production environment at that time, this environment specific data, barren URL path, some of the um, attributes, so you have to make sure on it, title kind of things, you have to make sure on it. And the third thing is, if you go with object actions, you have to make sure wait stage at start of each action. Uh, it means whenever you are going with the wait stage, with the timeout, it will confirm where where the system latency or how the process is going it will confirm wait stage with timeout so you have to make sure each action okay the thing is always throw exception on timeout okay do not try and recover the process following the wait stage so you have to make sure if you are following with the system exception throw the exception and let process and handle it do not try and recover the process following with the wait stage so you have to make sure these things and the one more thing is whenever you are using with object actions wait stage you have to avoid using arbitrary weights. It means wait 5 seconds. Uh, defaultly, you given some values, right? Uh, time out with you. That is arbitrary weights. You have to avoid that arbitrary weight. Arbitrary weights should only be used if a screen change, if any screen change 
can uh, happen then only you have to wait for arbitrary wait unless and until no screen change you no need to go with arbitrary waits thanks guys we will see more things on our next video